what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts we are here once again with some more the god of high school in the house today we're going to finish up the first season of the god of high school we're going to be doing episodes 12 and 13 to see how they wrap things up and what else they have in store for us things have just gone to crap Knox is on the move and they ain't waiting they want to inter now that they found the key there's no reason to continue the competition because that was the whole premise of the competition is to unlock the key right or to find out who has the nine tail fox spirit right so um now that they know that they can say we got a fire school is over blah 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 what is this going to take because there's still the question of why do they need um tejin's power that's a question that I, i've been asking for the last like three or four episodes since we've seen him get captured or whatever um so i'm trying to figure out what that's all about and if we're gonna see him again um maybe this guy is just not powerful enough and they need his power the six ain't nothing to play with one of them took down that giant thing that came out of the sky it was just him it really was just him i mean it was in a concerted effort with another one which is park but park was basically just trying to hold it up from not coming all the way down so this guy that was playing the music and was attacking like he was the one that really destroyed that sword and destroyed and, and you know pushed it back so whew, are you guys ready because i am don't forget to like the video let's hop into it What are those? The hell are those? He got chomped. Yo, isn't it his grandson, right? I think I missed something there. Cause he called him father. So I'm wondering if he if this is the same guy that's one of the six. But it might not be. It might not be. Let's keep going. The impoverished. Yeah, they're li literally the same. Yeah. 
You still getting worked again. The key. Okay, six putting in work. What this guy, this guy really thinks they are going to nuke Seoul? <laughs> that has got to be the worst decision ever. They're going to nuke the city? <laughs> What a way to make the U.S. look like cornballs. <laughs> Yo, he's probably transferring everything somewhere else. So the key is not the actual spirit, it's an actual, like, what do you call it? Artifact, if you want to call it that.
Get back. What? Who just did that? Oh, Jigal is a problem, bro. just did that Jason Yeah, the dude that, um, his grandson got killed. Yo. He's the magician, right? Yo, that's crazy. He sacrificed himself. This is, this is a lot.
Wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute. So Shigal gets the key, transforms. I did not see that coming. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I thought somehow the dude that has been fighting against Park that's been calling down to God, you know, the leader of Knox. I thought he would have been the one to obtain the key. Not by a long shot, I never expected Jagal was the one that's gonna end up with the key. But hey, here we are. Let's get to the next episode, man. Final episode of the season. Let's go. Crazy man. God slash God. Yeah. Here's that thing again with him standing with the staff. Infinite power. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Let's go, man. He still has that power too. Wait a minute.
Is this the Monkey King? Oh. Let's go! Mm. Oh, please. Let's go! Mmm, mean! Still beating you, though. Mmm. Woo! I like how fluid the animation is. It's not super high quality, but... What happened, bro? And he's calling the Nimbus. <laughs> That's cr It's the Monkey King, man. Bro, why are you naked? You know, all scrawny and shit. <laughs>
That's pretty cool. <laughs> から解放されたってこと。終わってしまうなんて。うまい。この大会で一番強くて偉い。優勝したお前たちの願いを叶えてやろうというのです。なんでか。ならちっとも真っすぐに。Is she a healer? Very Dragon Ball esque, <laughs> you know. Okay, after credit scenes. against me okay ah first season of the god of high school yeah let's review it are you ready are you ready i'm about to go in the god of high school season one review right here on terabyte reacts let's get on with it anyways I'm gonna say this off the bat. It's very, very Dragon Ballish, <laughs> like to the point where it it really seems like the 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 um the author is a huge he's a huge fan of anime. It's pretty obvious or manga, if you want to call it that. Um, big fan of these um characters that we've come to know and love. Um, I think he drew from. I don't know. I don't want to say that he drew from Dragon Ball with the whole wishing thing and also the Monkey King because we all know Goku is based off of the Monkey King. Um, then you have, um, you know, Lu Bu and you have, uh, um, it's a very bunch of, you know, folklore kind of stuff, his history and you know, um, things that we've come to know and love, the whole Naruto reference as well, um, the Nine Tails reference as well. Um, so those things are very good about the series so far. So I'm gonna talk about 
the weakness of this show. I'm going to talk about the weakness of the show. Mind you, let me say this disclaimer. I do not read the webtoon of this series. I don't know if it's better. I'm going to go check it out to see what, what it was like if I like it better. And I can come back and say, you know what? The webtoon was much better. I have no context in that matter. I just know that there was a lot of people when this was suggested on the channel, they were saying that the webtoon is way better and the anime did not do it justice. That's what they were saying. And until I read the webtoon for myself, I do not have anything to compare the anime against. So I can't say the webtoon is better. I'm just talking about what I've seen and what they could have done better. So let's talk about the minor negatives that were a part of the series. I think they could have done a better job of doing certain things, especially even towards the end. Mind you, a lot of the stuff was mind blowing, but I think when it comes on to the storytelling and where things were heading, I would have never guessed in a million years that Jagal was going to be the quote unquote final boss, like for the, for not for the series, but for the season. I never saw that coming. And the thing, the thing about it is this, right? When you are introducing a character, we know that we knew that Jagal wanted the key, but I thought he was just going to end up being, you know, somebody who's chasing something who's never going to get it. They didn't build Jagal up enough during the season for me to be like, okay, this guy is going to be the final boss. And it, it's not when it comes on to villains in series, they're not supposed to be a surprise villains are not supposed to be a surprise when you surprise people with villains and it's like oh you thought you get what i'm saying give you a prime example and i always use naruto as a reference because naruto failed in this situation also so not everything about naruto i love i didn't like the fact that kaguya was 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 um took up i think i think clearly madara was the final boss of the series you get what i'm trying to say he was that villain. He was built up throughout the entire series. And then all of a sudden, Kaguya is the bad guy. Just, just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you... Listen, I enjoyed it nonetheless. The fight against Kaguya. I enjoyed it. It led up to one of the best fights in Naruto. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not saying that it it's a terrible, terrible, awful decision. I just don't like it because when it comes on to storytelling, normally it makes no sense. We, they were not building up Jagal to be the final boss. They, I was more interested in the guy that was the head of Knox that was calling gods out of the sky. That guy was more interesting as a, as a villain because he was introduced as a villain. Jagal was not really introduced as a villain. He was just introduced as some dude that was after Ilpio and was in the competition. Like he was not introduced as a villain. Yes, we. I thought this whole time he just wanted revenge on Ilpio because he got beat up as a kid and whatever. And then all of a sudden you just throw this mini backstory in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of him being very similar to Ilpio, but we understood he wanted a key. So I'm going to say that that's one of the biggest negatives I have about the ending of, of season one. Mind you, epic fight at the end, loved it, but I just didn't like the build, the build up of Jagal. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it coming and I'm not salty because I didn't see it coming. I just didn't think it made sense. You get what I'm saying? Because, and as I said, it might've played out differently in the webtoon. It might have played out differently. So I'm not ag against the fact to read it because I am going to read. It. This is just my initial reaction and review after finishing watching episode 13. So the great things about these 13 episodes, I think the anime, I think it did start out a little, a little slow, but it picked up episode six off to the, to, to the run-ins still was keeping a lot of things vague. Um, 
but it was still enjoyable to watch nonetheless i think i don't think they did a very good job of telling the story comprehensively i think a lot of the things that they tried to say okay we're gonna leave that out on purpose to you know keep the audience intrigued kind of took me out of it sometimes and if they didn't have great fighting scenes and great camera work and great animation i think if i was watching this on my own i probably would have dropped the series because i'm i'm just like i'm not, you get what i'm saying like if it wasn't for those things that's what carried the 13 episodes it wasn't you get what i'm saying if it it wasn't like the story itself you get what i'm saying like that had nothing to do with the story it this this story did not grab me to the point where the only thing that really grabbed me about the lore about this entire thing was the 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 chakariki or whatever they call it okay that's the only thing that grabbed me and I wanted to know more about. Other than that, nope, <laughs> nothing else. I promise you, there was nothing else about this that was, you know what I'm saying, that uh, about the story that grabbed me. Like, that was the only thing. It was cool. You get what I'm saying? To know about the powers that they, that they can attain, these powers of the god, you know, mystical beast, whatever the situation is. So i'm talking raw it was great to see great animation i give the animation a solid eight out of ten for the for the entirety of the season um the sound design was really good i'm gonna give that a nine and the reason why i'm gonna give the audio design a, a nine is because um there were some there were some times when the music just didn't fit the scene you get what i'm saying but for the most part they really did that. They were on point with it. You get what I'm saying? With some epic OSTs that played. And I think earlier on in my reactions, I talked about, um, I don't remember if I talk, if I said it or not, but I, um, or maybe it was just in my head, where I was talking about a lot of these animes, it seems like they're getting the same composers to do this and everything kind of sounds the same. You get what I'm saying? Um, so, and that's not, to say that it's a bad thing you know what i'm saying it's just it just makes things a little bit it's like, it's like there's no variety um when it comes on to you, you know they, they had an intro with the house music um you know the opening with that with the house music and then they kind of had like a r&b for the ending so that was cool uh, um i like both of them they're not in no they're not s tier osds or s tier openings or endings but they do the job they get the job done so um i, I like house music um I, I i mean you know i don't mind it so um f i think it fits the aesthetic of the show you know what i'm saying um I, a lot of times when they cut out the music when they put it back on they did it very they did it very well in moments when you want to feel the impact of the fighting and not have any music playing in the background because this is not your typical moment of just fighting so um i want to talk about also the characters of the show love the characters in the show um when it comes on to mira han and mori if you want to say that um right so or davy if you want to call it call him that so um i like the characters three characters that i think could carry the show in some ways and to follow them and watch them get stronger i think it's a good balance when you have three main characters in a show and you develop them accordingly i think um that really pushes the the the, the um the narrative a lot more because it's not too much it's not too little you get what i'm saying when it comes on to having three characters in a show that you follow that you're like oh my god these guys are so great but it's obvious that basically what they've ex established jin mori as a god on on earth right or he embodies a god on earth because it's like every one of us are borrowing power he's literally a god here on earth so that was pretty cool to find out um that he's actually the monkey king of you know i think they chinese history you know journey around the world kind of stuff so that was pretty cool to find out Daewee's, you know, Hans, Hans, Chuck Rookie, it, it's, 
kind of weak. I don't know what the hell that is. You know what I'm saying? But cool beans, you know what I'm saying? I think Lubu is way cooler than that. Um, you know, I don't know why. Or maybe they just... It's kind of like when... Um, you know what I'm saying? When you find out that neither um, Killua or Gon... You know what I'm saying? Um, neither Killua or Gon had the strongest... Um, you know, had, had the strongest Nen. That it was Kurapika, right? That had the strongest Nen amongst all... the amongst these four characters that we've come to know and love in the opening of hunter hunter right because not um leorio has a really strong nen power as well but when it comes to kurapika and when when i remember when i was watching hunter hunter and i said kurapika is op and people was like kurapika is not op blah, 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 blah. and i'm like dude he's op he's literally op he's literally in the position to take down anyone he wants no matter how powerful they are you know what I'm saying? Like the conditions that is on it, that he that he ca came up with for his Nen is just unbelievable. And it's just like if he catches you in the right position, you're done. You're done. You're <laughs> literally done. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter how powerful you are, I think he can take you down if he does what he does and does it smartly. You know what I'm saying? So. When it comes on to, to this series, man, I'm definitely going to give it a, a high score for the first season. Um, you know, I think an eight is definitely up there for this show as, you know, I think it can get better. I think it can be better. And I hope the second season is going to be not only just about epic fight, but also expound upon the world. Do some world building. You get what I'm saying? Like, the old, I, I think they did world building in this first season. But it wasn't comprehensive enough for me to be like, yo, I'm so excited for, for, for season two. Because it, it, in, in a way, episode 13 felt like a finale. Like it felt there's a finality to it that, um, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we know that they're going to go on this journey. They're going to get stronger. But as I said, nothing is really there's there, as I said, there's more of like a finality to it that I didn't expect. I expected it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Jigal is not going to be the big bad for the series to come. He might come back. It doesn't seem like doesn't really seem like he died. And then, you know, you had this lady that come, came out of Aiden, the last one of the six, right? Um, she can grant any wish, it seems like. Um, one of the six has died, which is um, the magician. He died. Um so i don't know how things are going to play out i can't predict anything for season two other than we know that um they told him you need to go and visit where this this god this monkey king god used to live or whatever the situation got to visit his home and i'm guessing that's where he's going to train to to i don't know channel him or become him i don't know so that's kind of up in the ear too where i'm just like what is going to happen here you know what i'm saying and that's good but also, it, it just felt like there was no need for anything else after season one. That's how it felt and how they led up to it. To me, you get what I'm saying? You might not feel this way, but that's just how I feel. I'm telling you how I feel about the series, right? And how I felt watching it and even after. That's not to say when season two come out, I'm not going to watch it. But I just felt like they could have done a better job leading in up to the ending and leading into say a, a season two that is obviously going to come up because this this show blew up when it was out right everybody was watching it everybody was reacting to it so it, it's definitely up there and i give it its props for doing what it set out to do but i think they could do some really good world building with this series and get off this wish crap okay we're tired of it let dragon ball caught that and ran with it they need to get away from that like we need stakes in anime stakes need to be in anime my hero academia has stakes you get what i'm saying like you you know heroes can die there's stakes you know what i'm saying um so you can do both there can be stakes in your anime and it be a, a, a quote-unquote shonen there can be stakes they don't need you don't need to cookie cut it 
if somebody can possibly die they could die you know what i'm saying like literally nobody died none a god died but do i mean i don't even know if a god really died or not you know what i'm saying so there's that's the part of it where it just doesn't feel like the heightened the heightened um you know, you kind of sit there and you be like, God damn, somebody might die today. You just don't feel like that about this anime. And maybe that's what the author is going for. So I'm not going to, you know, harp on that too much. Because maybe that's what he's going for. He's made this so kids can enjoy it. So maybe that's what it is. But, you know, when you're creating, when you're creating most animes, you know, people want stakes. If you want your anime to become on the level of like, say, Attack on Time, even though that's superior kind of writing at this moment because i know i heard a lot of people or people are even in my discord telling me that the ending is trash you get what i'm saying but i'm not there yet i don't know how attack on titan ends so i can't judge it yet and i want to see it for myself for me to judge for me to judge let it settle in my brain before i'm going to say that the ending for attack on titan is trash some people are comparing it to game of thrones that is that bad you know what i'm saying so um and you all know how I felt about, you know, Game of Thrones season eight. It, you know what I'm saying? We could have done without it. <laughs> you know what I mean? We could have done without it and they figured something else out. But in, in, in other words, and how I want to portray, portray, portray this situation of this anime is that I think they could really do some really good world building here and really take take it up a notch you know what i'm saying um spread it out man you know what i'm saying spread it out you know what i'm saying do a full first season even though nowadays one season of anime is usually boiled down to 12 or 13 episodes for some reason um you know they're not going for first season 24 episodes anymore um and i guess that's because of you know time constraint animators or money whatever the thing is what whatever the situation is um, hopefully they come out guns a blazing for season two, because if they don't do some serious world building in this, people are going to start saying that God of high school is trash. Like literally kind of like how people treat the borrowed anime, even though the borrowed anime right now, Bruto anime is doing really well right now. They're actually diving into the manga stuff and actually doing the stuff in the manga better, actually expounding. You know what I'm saying? Um, they brought on a new director and everything. So things has been going well with that but as i said initially even high did not like baruto i didn't like it you know what i'm saying so for instance you know um people are going to start treating this the same way they're going to be like this is not enough to keep my attention they have to come out guns blazing not just about fight scenes but Build a story so you can keep a core audience of people. Because if people are just tuning in to see fights, you're going to lose your audience pretty quick because you don't, you, you got to remember when it comes on to, to Dragon Ball, um, to Dragon Ball, right? That series, that series got his fan base from the world building from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Everything after that, people trash it. People come back because that's already established. They have a core fan base that's going to watch it no matter what they're showing because they know what it's all about. We want to see if Vegeta is finally going to surpass Goku. We're here for that. So those things have already been established. So they can do all the crap and forget about story plot points and stuff and stuff like that and just build and build and build and just make more episodes make more chapters of manga whatever the situation is they can keep doing that and making money you're just coming out the gate with this first season and i'm saying people are going to give you another chance for for, for season two because we enjoyed it for what it is but if you don't start doing some world building people are going to drop this really quick and and that's just how I see it for the future. You get what I'm saying? So season two, they got to do a better job. Take the feedback that, you know, most people have probably given before I did. You know what I'm saying? Even though I, I know a lot of people is not going to see this video or whatever the situation is. Um, take the feedback because I'm pretty sure people are telling you the anime did not do a good job of portraying what was in the webtoon. Get back to the drawing board. Come back guns a blazing and try to do as much as possible and expound upon some things 
build the world that you're trying to build here now that we're not going to be in this tournament anymore it's not many animes that start out with a tournament arc but it's the, the tournament was important and it played into the story of of the show and that's good but as i said come with the fire and i'm there to watch it season two um i have a reaction channel so when season two drops i'm gonna have to watch it anyways so thank you guys so much man i appreciate y'all that's all i have to say about um the god of high school it was a really good series but it wasn't great you know what i'm saying you guys have seen me how i react to great series on this channel regardless of if it's a shonen anime or just a story-based anime or whatever genre it is if it's great and the world building is great i'm gonna give it it's due when i finish watching it right i'm gonna give it its due and if it not living up to the hype then i'm gonna say it's not living up to the hype but here we are thank you guys so much for tuning in man i'm out season one is over don't forget to like the video share the video whatever you like to do leave a comment let me know how you felt about season one of the god of high school and as always man i thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all i will see you guys for the next one peace